Okay guys, I just wanted to show you this because I didn't know it myself. This is how you make a kind of um, wish list on Computer Exchange, like a um, saving games for later just in case they are not available to buy at the moment. You can save them and um, buy them later, so you will need to have an account for this, so let's sign in. I'll point up so you don't see my login details. You can look at my kitchen while that's happening, I have. Work clothes and big ass thing of nachos. Okay, we are logged in. And so you enter in what you want. So let's say I want a copy of Chibi Robo on the GameCube. There you go. Chibi Robo, GameCube. Clicking it takes me there. So right now, this is the Australian website. They're not super super big in Australia just yet, so I am waiting for a copy of Chibi Robo to become available and what I used to do is I had a giant folder full of um, just links to different games but what you can do if you have an account you can click this heart here then what that will do is save the item for later and then what you can do is go down here to saved items I have 63 uh, my saved items are kind of ridiculous. They're like um, the holy grails for me, I guess, that I want for my video game collection. So we have like a lot of Vita stuff, a bit of Nintendo DS stuff, and yeah, you can see it's a lot easier than keeping them saved to your browser. You can just scroll through here maybe once a day and see if anything has become available. So we'll quickly do that. Stuff like that, even if I... <laughs> Even if they do get a copy of that in stock, Rule of Roads, it's not like I'm going to get it before someone else does, but... It's probably the same deal with Bangayo Spirits, but it's like, you never know. Like, you could be that one that, um, just happens to get it. Continue looking. I'm not sure if you can do this on the, um, UK website, but... You can definitely do it on the Australian one, which is pretty awesome. Okay, I don't think they're going to have anything that I'm looking for. Nope, no more products, but that's okay because I have a way to see when they pop up. And they'll eventually get in these games. They only have about, um, let me check. They don't have very many stores in Australia, unfortunately. They have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15... 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. They only have 21 stores in Australia, so it's like... Yeah, it just takes a while to get stuff in your collection from them, but... It is a cool way to... Stay alert if they do... Get that item. I would love... I'm not sure if they do this on the app, but it would be cool on the app if you could um, save them for later and then be uh, notified if a copy becomes available. That would be super cool. I would love that for them to implement that. Alright, but that's how you do it. The Sigma House bidding you guys farewell. I hope this has helped you out, and I hope you guys get some good games off of it. I know I have so far, so thank you for watching. Have a good one.